So for today, we're going to be looking at Bungie's TWAB. This TWAB was pretty cool. Uh, it was a little bit smaller, but the information that we got is huge. Like armor changes are coming, uh, mod specifically uh, the seasonal mods are changing and the way our weapons are changing. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help me grow. And I appreciate, for, appreciate you for doing so, but let's just get right into it. So. The first thing that is changing is the way that the seasonal mods are changing. Uh, I'm just going to read it right off the bat. Artifacts have been a huge talking point in our community and with the next season, we're making a few changes that will bring back some popular anti-champion mods while also making some tweaks to the way Masterwork Armor works. Here is a rundown from the team on what players can look forward to in Season 16. One of the consistent pieces of feedback that we have been wanting to act on for a while involves the unlocking of artifact mods. Starting in season 16, players will no longer be limited to the number of artifact mods they can unlock. This means that players could feasibly unlock all 25 artifact mods by the end of the season. While we have some made some small adjustments to the amount of XP required to unlock artifact mods 1 through 12 in general, the pace of unlocking these first 12 artifact mods should be close to what we've seen in season 15's artifact. For each unlock after the 12th, increased XP will be required for the next artifact mod unlock. So the choice of which order to unlock mods still requires some decision making. And if, cha and if you change your mind, you can still reset your artifact to make your picks again. So this is really, really, really cool because now instead of people doing the usual where it's like, okay, well, I need the, all the anti mods onto anti uh, champion mods, which is uh, what is it? Six, I think two, four, yeah, six. And then I want kind of the, the reload mods, the free ones, because those are really important. And then I probably want some fusion scavengers or some scavengers in general. And then I get the extra ones, the ones that are specifically either like the really powerful ones in the last column or something like this, where it's an it's it's an anti -cha anti champion mod, just different. This one specifically is a thermoclastic strike, which solar or stasis melee disrupt combatants, stunning them. This is specifically for overload champions. So I am losing out on all of these because I am going for specifically. Uh, the end game PvP or the end game of the PvE, which is a lot of this, like a lot of this. These two are not. I can really skip these two if I really wanted to and get something else. But obviously, with anti barrier auto rifle being in the game, this comes in clutch. Uh, fusion rifle rifle roller bleh, <laughs> fusion rifle loader comes in clutch, considering that we have the particle deconstruction. So everything kind of like in my head it all kind of has to fit together for me to actually get it all or to like use everything and with the changes next season i can actually just get all of this because as you guys can see i'm plus 30 like i'm beyond the, the 12th artifact so i don't think it's going to be hard to level up at all considering i do weekly weekly uh bounties so i am usually just always getting xp all the time and let's not forget my absurd amount of time that i play so Realistically, I should be hitting this in like way before the season's over, which I'm okay with. And again, this is going to be great for build crafting because we're going to be able to unlock everything and just basically dip our toes into everything because I have never used fire and dice. I've never used resonance siphon. I've never used any of these because I just don't see the point in the annoyance of it because if you do reset your artifact, it's 10,000. It gets, it gets higher and higher over time. Not only that, but you have to go over to the mod section. You have to go to wherever that one is. I think it's what? Oh yeah, they're separate. So you have to like go through them and then like click them or go over them. So they don't stop uh, showing up here and then they fill it's it's just an annoyance overall so i'm really happy with this change bungie is doing a great job with this because again we're going to be able to do more with it speaking of which uh let's get to the next portion when it comes to the artifact mods themselves we are bringing back a few per perennial favorite uh anti-champion mods including anti-barrier scout rifles and bows which i personally i don't know why that would be like favorite ones Unless that one, unless it says few personal favorites, then I guess, but okay. And have done some work to make disrupting an overload champion, which can be done this season with auto rifles and SMGs, which 
uh, I don't think they can. No, the SMGs are not even a thing in this season, but okay. More reliable than previous season. That's really good considering overload champions are annoying and their teleports can get overbearing sometimes. We'll also be highlighting the new glaive weapon archetype coming in the Witch Queen through a variety of artifact mods, including an option to make your glaive the solution to unstoppable champions. That one's a little, mm, uh, mm, I don't know. In higher end activities, unstoppable champions are probably the scariest ones just because they just keep trucking along. And if you do not stop them, they will fuck you up. Uh, and have a few new artifact mods that will enhance some of the new weapon perks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next portion is to take a little bit of pressure off your vault space. We are also making some adjustments to the way masterwork armors work. Starting with the launch of Witch Queen, you can change the energy type of a fully masterwork piece of armor for a much reduced cost. A fully masterwork piece of legendary armor can be changed to, to another energy type for the cost of 10,000 glimmer and one upgrade module. While a fully mastery piece of exotic armor can be changed to another energy type for the cost of 20,000 glimmer and one upgrade module. The cost for changing a piece of armor's energy type before it is fully mastered remains unchanged. So needless to say, this is a great change. So let's go back to my character. This is my Omniculus. This is like one of my favorite builds considering it's like my my invis PVE build where I do a lot of my high end activities with since can, like literally this is the build I use to solo flaws grasp of avarice. So this is my build to like get shit done. As you guys can see, I have void resistance on it and I have protective light on it, uh, which is a void only uh, energy slot. So if we go and see if I for whatever reason I wanted to change it to solar, it costs one upgrade module, 24,000 glimmer, leg legendary shards 30, enhancement core five, enhancement prism five, and three ascendant shards. That's the actual cost to upgrade your armor, an exotic one specifically. So that's pretty ridiculous considering I've already done that. I shouldn't need to do it again. And you might be wondering, why would you even change it? Like, you don't need to. The thing is, shit changes shit happens let's say for example uh, i'm getting really really destroyed by enemies with that have solar weapons i could go and change my my art my chest piece to solar and then to put the solar resistance on which actually helps a lot because it's not just weapon damage it's literally anything solar uh that will change my protective light because i can't use it on this anymore but because legendary armor is changing as well I could just change my helmet to void and then just switch it out. So that's the really cool thing is like, obviously my, my build is really, really, uh, how do I say this? It's really packed with a lot of things on it. Obviously, like I have a protective light on this one. I have radiant light on this one. I have uh, particle deconstruction on this one. I have powerful friends on this one. So like, I do have space to mess around, but with the changes, it'll just be much more easier because on top of being able to just change stuff, there are pieces pieces of my armor that I just decided like, oh, I'll just do this one. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I should not have done that one specifically. Um, like for example, Twisting Echo Cloak, I shouldn't have done Arc just because I have so many Arc ones already that I should have done solar or void or anything else. With these changes, I'm probably gonna change uh, maybe Cloak of the Exile. I'll leave this one here just because I kind of need it for when Particle de Deconstruction leaves, I can put Powerful Friends on this one. So the armor changes are, without an exaggeration, a game changer for a lot of people, including myself, because now I'm going to be able to do a lot of builds that I particularly didn't really care about because I have a lot of armor that's already masteric. And I was like, I'm not wasting more just to ch try a build and see it not be good. So now it's actually going to be able to, it's going to make me actually go out of my way and try some builds. So that's a really good change. And last but not least, we have closing out. We're also making a change to the way guardians create orbs of power with weapons. 
elements of the new weapon crafting system will encourage you to use many different weapons and ask you to burn hard earned masterwork materials on a weapon that you may only be using for a few hours just to generate orbs that seemed like a tall order this combined with our desire to act on consistent feedback that players want to be able to generate orbs of power with with exotic weapons that do not yet have catalysts led us to the implement 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 oh my god implementation we'll be using in the witch queen and beyond orb generation on multi weapon multi kills will no longer be a function of a weapons masterwork status but will instead be provided by a suite of armor mods which are unlocked automatically for all players and which plug into the helmet armor mod socket each each such mod will apply the orb generation effect to all weapons you have equipped of a particular damage type so a single mod will cover multiple weapons in your arsenal if they share a damage type this also applies to a weapon that changes damage types like hard light or a kinetic weapon with osmosis we will continue to create exciting exotic catalysts over the next few seasons but in the meantime you'll be able to generate orbs with cloud strike thorn thunderlord teraba and any other weapon in the game so I kind of have an issue with this. I think this is like the only bad change in my head because we're seeing everything else get nerfed only because a few weapons don't have a catalyst. Um, and the reason why I say this is specifically because like, let's look at this, this helmet, Mask of the Great Hunt, for example. Um, I have no space to, to put anything else and they're gonna go on the heavy slot. So even if I didn't have powerful friends, I would pro most likely, if I'm playing PVE, uh, I'm gonna be using something like this with maybe maybe a build here, maybe. Most of the time, I'd probably be using, uh, let's, for example, I'll put that right there. And then maybe the other one, this one, I'll put powerful friends here. Oh, I can't because I don't have enough space. So th this is already a problem because I don't have space anymore and I kind of need fusion rifle ammo finder because I like specifically if I'm doing hard content, I want more ammo. So now you're telling me that, oh, well, you know, it's going to go on the on the head slot, which is already a problem because we have a few that we kind of already want to use. And if it's by element type, it's even worse because now you actually won't even be able to have all the burns there unless they have a specific mod that's just like oh yeah any weapon has it which at that point couldn't you have just made the i don't know this this change just seems needless to me um it's it's literally nerfing every other weapon it's like nerfing 90 percent of the weapons because like 10 percent of the weapons don't have catalyst i don't like it again we'll have to wait and see but god damn am i tired of saying we'll wait and see and then being disappointed like honestly this change just seems not only just like excessive for like, it just seems excessive. Like really, it's just a few weapons that don't have catalyst. Oh, I want this weapon to have a catalyst. Then wait, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but I, you want to nerf every other weapon that I have because like 1000 voices doesn't have a catalyst because other weapons don't have a catalyst. It just seems so ridiculous. Not only that, you're taking value from weapons specifically like legendary weapons be cut like because most of the time just to master work you get what the the most like so for example if i don't master work this i lose some range which is like pitifully small which doesn't even matter in my opinion uh and then a kill tracker that's really it you lose the the generate orbs on multi kills on the weapons themselves so they lose value I just don't see how this is a dub. I, some people might see it as a dub. I don't see it as a dub just because again, weapons are losing value and your helmet is becoming more congested with stuff because people are gonna be using these, these mods a lot. Uh, these are mostly PVP in my opinion. And then let's, we're not even talking about the artifact mods, which is also a problem. Uh, look at this, this is seven. Granted, this is for the class item, so it's okay. But something like the helmet armor mod, this is uh, this is one, which is not that big a deal in your head. You're like, oh, but it's only one, Tony. It's not that crazy. This one as well. Well, the problem comes that we only have two slots, bro. We only have two slots, unless we have artifice armor, which at that point, 
I'm actually going to make a separate video on artifice armor because I think there's a problem with artifice armor as well. But essentially, it's just it's a. I I think this is the not the worst change I've seen, but it's just it's it leads. Oh my god, dude! I'm not excited for this change at all because without that without those mods, there's no more there's no more orb generation, and if you're not using it, people are going to be like, oh, you're throwing because you're not generating orbs and all this other shit. It's just, there's so many problems with this one change that I don't think it's, it's a smart choice. Um, unless, unless, uh, we get another mod slot over here, which is just for, uh, for the, for the masterwork, uh, stuff for, for the orb regen or generation. And if it didn't cost anything, because then at that point, it's like, okay, you're choosing which one is, but I don't think Bungie's going to do that. Uh, I think Bungie's just going to add it to this slot or this slot right here, all of this. And people are just going to be like, well, I guess I can just do this and, uh, and this one for, for the master work, but I only do arc weapons because I'm only using arc weapons. And it's like, that's annoying because now I'm just going to have to use soul weapons or arc weapons or this or that. And it's just it's needlessly complicated because now we have a system that already works why couldn't they just make a mod in the helmet where it's like anything that doesn't have a catalyst can can re can generate orbs i don't understand why we couldn't have that instead of this where it's just overly complicates stuff so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i think this is a terrible change the first one i think every other change is great and will change the game for the better this one specifically i don't think is good and it will kind of make the game a little bit worse specifically because you're losing value on a lot of weapons only because this weapon doesn't have an art uh a catalyst look at this all my weapons almost all my weapons even this one, if I if I masterworked it, all of them are losing value because 1K cannot generate orbs because it doesn't have a catalyst. It's it's stupid. It's I that's the only thing I can say. It's it's a dumb choice in my head. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point. Let me know what you guys think. Am I being a little too hard on it? I don't think so, just because again there you're going to be able to generate orbs from different burns which means three different uh mods which means you have to choose now you have to choose which burn you want to go through to generate orbs which i think is just overly complicating things so yeah be safe and i'll see you guys later